What's up guys, welcome back to Rosie TV. And today I'm gonna be doing a comparison video. Uh, just recently, I was on Twitter and uh, there was a question that interested me. Someone said that, uh, is this Manchester City team that just won the league, the uh, Centurions or whatever they're calling them, uh, is this the greatest team in Premier League history? Now that definitely got me thinking. Well, first of all, in Premier League history, uh, there's not that many years to compare. It's not like uh, Serie A or La Liga where you have to like basically compare 100 teams. Uh, the Premier League, um, I believe the first season of the Premier League era was 1992-1993. We only have about 25 teams to compare. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I really don't like about uh, you know this generation is um, anything that uh, is going on in your generation that's considered the best. Uh, so that's a very narcissistic viewpoint. Like, this is the best rapper of all time. This is the best basketball player of all time. This is the best football player of all time. And they're all playing in your era. A lot of people don't really do their research. So I sat down and did some research. And I'm here to compare uh, five teams, five of the greatest teams in the Premier League era, and see which team is truly the best uh, Premier League team of all time. So the five teams that I have for comparison uh, first is the 1999-2000 Manchester United team. Uh, this is not the trouble winning team from uh, the season before uh, because I just want to compare Premier League uh, seasons. I don't want to compare, I don't want to talk about uh, Champions League success uh, or you know whether or not they won the League Cup or the FA Cup. I just want to talk about the Premier League and uh, although you know Manchester United the season before won the trouble, this Manchester United team, the 99-2000 team, was uh, a better Premier League team just in those 38 games. Uh, obviously, uh, the next team, the Arsenal Invincibles, which many people think are the greatest team of all time. Uh, then we have the 2004-2005 Chelsea team, uh, which was under Jose Mourinho. And then we have uh, the 2008-2009 Manchester United team, uh, which actually is a very underrated team. Not many people talk about talk about that team when talking about the um, all-time great Premier League teams and even all-time great Man United teams. And then finally, this season, 2017-2018, uh, Manchester City. So first, let's talk about the best defense out of all those teams, and that's really easy. It's not even close. Uh, the Chelsea team from 0405 conceded 15 goals. That's a Premier League record. Uh, yeah, no one can really touch them in that department. The closest team to them is uh, Man United from 08-09, which conceded 24. Uh, so that just shows you Chelsea, you know, steal that one. Uh, in terms of best goal scoring or best attacking team, it has to go to this year's Manchester City team. Uh, they scored a whopping amount of goals, 106 goals. Uh, from this Man City team in 38 games. That's just insane. The closest team to that, the 99-2000 Man United team, which had 97 goals, uh, you know, pretty close margin, uh, but the rest of them are not even close. They're in the 70s and 60s. Uh, so Man City, uh, they definitely take that one. In terms of points, obviously Man City takes it. 100 points, uh, that's a crazy milestone. Uh, the closest team to that is Chelsea's uh, 95 points, which is still very good. Uh, and even though Arsenal, um, the Arsenal Invincibles, you know, went a whole season undefeated, they actually only got 90 points, which is, uh, you know, out of these five teams, the joint worst with uh, Man United uh, from 08-09. Uh, so that just shows, you know, although they, you know, not losing a game is still a fantastic feat. Uh, you know, they didn't get that many wins compared to these other teams. Let's not forget, they got 12 draws and 26 wins, uh, which is actually, in terms of wins, they have the lowest win amount uh, out of these five teams. So a lot of people, especially Arsenal fans, they just look at, oh, they never lost the game. They're automatically the best team. Uh, but I do think that's a little bit of a closed-minded approach to it. Uh, I do think if you win more, that's a little bit more impressive. Uh, so, you know, I'm not taking away from the invincible season. They're still one of the greatest teams, but I don't think uh, they are the greatest. Also, we got to look at goal difference because, um, you know, scoring goals and not conceding goals is very important, but, you know, we should combine the two. Man City have uh, the biggest goal difference by a large margin. Man City this year, 79 or plus 79 goal difference. Uh, Man United from 08-09 had a plus 44 goal difference. So it just shows you the difference. 
Chelsea 0405 uh, had a plus 57. Uh, Arsenal Invincibles had a plus 47. And uh, Man United uh, 99 2000 had a plus 52. So it just shows you Man City again, not even close. Um, you know, they're just, you know, on their own level here. And we all know the Premier League is a very competitive league. Uh, many even argue that it is the most competitive league in the world, which I wouldn't argue against. Um, so let's look a little bit of, at the uh, competition uh, that these teams had. So looking at 1999-2000 uh, when Man United won, um, Man United scored 91 points and uh, the closest team to that was Arsenal with 73. Leeds came in in third uh, with 69 points. Uh, so you see that some of these teams definitely underperformed. Uh, you know, 73 points isn't bad, uh, but they weren't even, Arsenal weren't even on Man United's level that season. Uh, so it just shows that Man United had a little bit of an easier time. Uh, looking at the Invincible season, Arsenal scored 90 points, Chelsea with 79 in second place, uh, Man United in third place with 75. Um, Chel again, you know, they were kind of on their own level. Uh, Chelsea with 79 points, uh, you know, didn't really compete that much with Arsenal. Um, then looking at the 0405 season, uh, Chelsea had 95 points, second place Arsenal had 83. So, you know, it uh, gets a little bit more competitive. Arsenal did have a very good season that year, finishing second. Uh, but besides that, Man United came in third with 77 points. Uh, so, you know, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to look at some of the teams that scored at least above 80 points. Uh, you know, that shows that they made a little bit of a push um, in that Premier League season. Now we look at the 08-09 season. This was a very competitive season. Man United scored 90 points and won the league. Liverpool was uh, came in second place uh, with 86 points. In, uh, that's just insane to me. Um, so, you know, even though Man United, this Man United team is one of the greatest in Premier League history, Liverpool uh, were just four points away from them. And then Chelsea were in third place with 83 points. Arsenal in fourth with 72. So it does show that this Premier League season, the 08-09 season, uh, was probably the most competitive all, out of all of them. Obviously, we still have to talk about this season's. Uh, Man City scored 100 points. Man United in second place. Never really challenged for it, but they did score a pretty impressive 81 points. Uh, Spurs was 77. Liverpool was 75 uh, in fourth place. So um, out of all those, I'd probably give it to Man United from 08-09 uh, because uh, they had Liverpool breathing down their neck and Chelsea weren't too far behind. Uh, the rest of them, you, some of these teams definitely did underperform. So I do give Man United points there. Uh, but that doesn't mean this Premier League season wasn't competitive. Of course it was. Uh, it just Pep Guardiola had a master class, um, which made it look like it wasn't too competitive because at the end of the day, you still have a Jose Mourinho Man United side. I know Jose Mourinho's past his prime, but Man United still had a pretty good season. Uh, you have a Champions League finalist in Liverpool. You have a young and hungry Tottenham team. Uh, you have the reigning champions, or at the time reigning champions, Chelsea. Uh, so, you know, I'm not taking away from this year's Man City team, but I think Man United do take this. All this in account, um, I do think the Invincibles uh, team, probably a little bit overrated. Uh, the 99-2000 team for Man United was a very good goal scoring team. But other than that, they didn't have that much going for them. Um, and uh, I'd say this 08-09 Manchester United team was a very underrated team. Um, and then finally, I do think the 2017-2018 Manchester City team is probably the greatest of all time. Um, you know, like I said earlier, it's narcissistic to think that anything that's going on right now is the greatest. But it's also uh, pretty dumb to think, you know, just because it happened in history, it can be surpassed. So, you know, looking at this Man United, or excuse me, this Man City team, uh, you know, they had strength in numbers. There was so much depth in that team. I mean, when you have guys like Laporte, uh, you have guys like Danilo, Gundogan, Yaya Torre, Gabriel Jesus, Bernardo Silva. Those are your bench players. Most of those players would start on other Premier League teams. Like I said, Man City for me, this Man City team, the greatest in Premier League history. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching Rosie TV.